Well, New Frontier's relatively new initiative is an experiment of sorts, creating a festival within a festival that sort of follows the changing cinematic culture that we're experiencing today in expressing independent cinematic voices. What excites me about this is that uh, for years, <clears throat> we had a division of Sundance where we were just showing the um, technology. And we said, this is what's available, this is what's coming, and it had that virtue. On the other side of the festival was the, the, the art itself. This is putting the two together. Say, okay, we have the technology, now this shows what it can do and how it can affect art, including issues or subjects like science. You know, art blended more with science helps science tell its story. So we're a company called Oblong Industries and uh, we're the developers of G-Speak, which is a fundamentally new way for people to interact with computers. And the basic idea is to use your hands, use your hands at, at the full measure of their dexterity, of their sophistication, to do with them what your whole body and your brain already knows how to do, which is to manipulate the world. And the only piece of the world that doesn't work that way is the computer and we think that it should. And once that happens, then people are instantly experts at uh, manipulating all kinds of information. Traditionally, the independent filmmakers are ahead of even mainstream Hollywood when it comes to ac accepting or engaging with new technology. And we're seeing that today in a very real way. My name is Leighton Pierce, and this is my work agency of time, a four channel video and uh, sound installation. I make it by shooting many digital stills, all with a uh, moving camera to have a marker of time within each still frame, and then I weave it together to create these animations. Well, I think New Frontier really is about capturing that moment at which storytelling breaks out of that dominant 20th century cinematic form. We've gotten very used to a single mode of storytelling over the last hundred years, and I think it's really exciting to see people really going in every direction simultaneously. What I'm doing with Agency of Time is trying to create a space that's um, attractive to people and evocative to try to get people to engage their own uh, associative uh, imagination and thoughts. They're actually making their own stories. People look at it and they see images that they recognize, but they have to put them together and really create their own story. So the story's not out here, it's in the viewer. One of the artists here has a title called The Evolution of Fearlessness. And I think that has a lot to do with, with your willingness to explore something like this uh, without concern or, or fear. Just step forward and see where it goes.